Wood ash is not only a free fertilizer containing a beneficial mixture of nutrients, especially potassium and calcium, but can also be helpful in correcting acid soil or decontaminating compost, and is also used in pest control. Wood ash has a long tradition of use as a deterrent to garden pests, both in dry and liquid form. As insecticides, ash and other inert dusts can be used. Ash draws water from insects, sprinkled with it, the insect simply dries up. It is caused by the damage of the protective lipid layer of the epidermis by dust particles. Archaeological records from Egypt, describe the use of ash against fleas and lice on the population. Subsistive farmers in northern Cameroon use ashes to protect stored crops. The effect of insecticidal effectiveness was also investigated experimentally. Five species of insects were used, four species of stock beetles Cytophilus granarius, Linnaeus, Cryptolusts geruginus, Stevens, Tribolium castanum, Herbst, and Tenebrio molitor, Linnaeus, Larvae, and a species of Califora vomitoria, Linnaeus. For each of these species, one sample was treated with burnt cow dung ash and the other sample was treated with similar ash boiled in water and dried. No food was provided. Experiments have shown that ash boiled in water performed faster than uncooked ash. Cooking reduced the beetle killing time by 45% on average. Ecological ash insecticides in different cultures and periods are so important that tedious processing methods have developed to increase their effectiveness in crop protection. But ash can also nourish, fertilize, and disinfect the soil. Trace elements from wood ash perform various functions, the contained calcium carbonate increases the activity of the metabolic processes of plants. Ash fertilizer is used to speed up the ripening of cucumbers and tomatoes. With the proper and timely introduction of organic matter, the yield of vegetables increases by 50%. Calcium silicate in the ashes has a positive effect on the formation of a vegetable tuber. The silicon compounds allow the onion layers to stick together. The vegetables will be stored all winter without losing their freshness. Calcium sulfate is an indispensable element in creating a thick and juicy cabbage. Calcium chloride helps to get rid of garden plants and vegetables from fungal and bacterial diseases. Saturation of plants with sodium chloride and orthophosphate will allow the plants not to lose moisture during hot periods. The high content of magnesium allows the production of enough energy for the growth and development of crops. Ash is not only an excellent fertilizer, but also a remedy for diseases and pests. You can use ash as a plant protection measure against pests. In spring, we sprinkle it around the plants immediately after planting, for example, seedlings of cabbage, cauliflower, brussels sprouts or kohlrabi. Sprinkle the soil thinly around each plant. If it rained heavily, repeat the sprinkling. You can also sprinkle young plants of onion and other vegetables with ash, preferably along the rows, to protect them from pests. The ash sprinkles along the rows of carrots to protect them from glitter. Dusting the leaves protects them against aphids, but also discourages other pests from feeding. You can fight the Colorado potato beetle in the same way, just sprinkle it on it and it will die in a few days. It is important to sprinkle the leaves only and not to cover them with ash because the plants will suffocate. When fighting the aphid, you can also prepare a water spray from the ash. Prepare the mixture in the proportions, boil 300 grams of ash in water for 15 to 20 minutes, let it cool, strain, and then dilute it in 10 liters of water. This solution should be sprayed on the aphid. We do it in the morning. Sprinkling ash on the rows between the strawberries, under the bushes, protects them from gray mold. Before sowing seeds, e.g. carrots, parsley, beetroot, and even potatoes, ash, a thin layer, is poured into the grooves or the seeds themselves are mixed with the ash before sowing and then thrown into the groove. This treatment protects plants against fungal diseases as well as some pests and provides minerals. Ash is also great for fighting too many snails in our gardens. It acts as a deterrent for snails, and is also a barrier that is difficult for them to cross, as the dust sticks, prevents crawling, and dries out their bodies. Dry ash also fights ants. The place where the pests were noticed should be sprinkled generously with wood ash 
preferably with ash from plant residues. Dump 2 cups per square meter. The ash gets into the mucous membranes and is irritating and drying. Pests will begin to leave the garden quickly. You can use ash as a fungicide for grey mold, strawberry rot, powdery mildew, cabbage syphilis, blackening of the stems and seedlings. For this treatment, pour a glass of ash into 10 liters of water, mix it and leave it until morning. In the morning, mix again and spray the plants. You can do this with a straw brush so as not to clog the spray nozzle. Ash is ecological and safe, but in no case should products of synthetic origin be used to obtain ash intended for fertilization or spraying. When burned, they release poisonous elements that accumulate in the plant and fruit, poisoning them. The content of various nutrients in the ashes can vary depending on the material that is burned. It does not necessarily have to be all wood ash. By burning the young branches of trees and shrubs, the production will be an ash rich in phosphorus and potassium compounds. By burning woody tree trunks, a fertilizer with a high concentration of calcium is obtained. The ash after burning the straw contains potassium at the level of 14 to 16 percent, calcium compounds 6 to 9 percent, phosphorus 5 to 7 percent, potato peelings are ash with 30 percent potassium, 15 percent calcium and 8 percent phosphorus. The highest levels of calcium, 15 to 20 percent, and potassium, 30 to 40 percent, were found when burning sunflower stalks, you can also use topinambur stalks. The ash can be mixed with other pest control and plant protection agents. The effectiveness of the ash will be enhanced by e.g. potassium soap. Add 3 kg of powdered wood ash to a bucket of hot water, mix it and let it stand for 48 hours in a warm, dark place. Then strain the infusion, add 50 g of soap, powder or liquid, and spray the diseased plants. A break of 15 to 20 days should be allowed between sprayings. If such pests as the Colorado potato beetle, cabbage fly, earth fleas or aphids are a big problem, it is necessary to mix powdered ashes and tobacco dust in equal proportions. Sprinkle the affected plants with a dry mixture. Such a procedure will certainly work. To scare away destructive leaf-eating pests, 1 cup of wood ash and 1 cup of hydrated lime are added to 2 liters of water and mixed together. Spray this liquid on the tops and undersides of infected leaves. Make sure you only use raw wood ash and wear protective clothing when working with this material. The ash should be completely cooled before spreading it around the garden.